everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 video. We're back on the Harlem line and we're going to be going into suburbia. Uh, so let's get the door shut. I did literally just run in and saw this train standing here and I was like, right, we're going to get that. So we need to get up set up fairly quickly. Because otherwise we're going to be late, which we don't really want. That goes to max. Charge the brakes up and then get going straight away. But yeah, I thought we'd do, uh, well, sort of explore the northern end of the line. Uh, which is, yeah, suburbia, greenery, quite nice. So we're at Crestwood, and we're going to be heading up to North White Plains. Let's go. We are in the M7A as usual, which is an absolutely lovely train. Look at that. It is just brilliant. You got one of the other ones there with the Crestwood um, shuttle service. Right, let's go. Next station stop is Scarsdale, which is one of my favourite stops. It's really, really nice. I think Scarsdale and Forden, I think, are my favourite stops on the route. Have you guys got any personal favourites? Yeah, Scarsdale, just because of that sort of old feeling it's got. And Forden, sort of the same, really. Sort of, sort of, that's like the older feel to the station. Well, the White Plains is quite a nice one as well. Really, really, you know, modern and busy-ish. Now 65. Let's get that up. There's one of the faster sections of the route uh, going up this way. Yeah, it's fairly quick, 65 miles an hour. Not slow. It's not, like, fast, fast, but I mean, it feels fast in this. Oh, it's there. Yeah, it's not slow. It's not fast. Sort of in the middle, isn't it? Sort of 65. Then for sort of a metro where the stations are quite close to one another, it is perfect sort of speed. Scarsdale's just up round here. Yeah. What does everyone come to enjoy more, the M3A or the M7A? Personally, I prefer the M7A. Mostly just. As you know, if you compare it to the Long Island one, this one's had the most drastic improvements to it. That's just a really nice train in general. The M3 is really nice as well, don't get me wrong, but I just prefer this one. And coming up on Scarsdale, there's a warning for a 60. You come into the stations fairly quick. We are an eight coach, so it'll be near enough to the end of the platform. Come at about forty miles an hour. Not as we've seen that. Yeah, this is Scarsdale. Hello, people of Scarsdale. And there's no stop markers, I believe drivers just stop where they want, uh, you know, once you sort of know you're in the platform, that's where you can stop. Uh, we are an 8 coach, so I'm going to go a little way up. We go around here. That should be then alright. Here, let's have a look. Have we got in? Yeah, we're in the platform. So the platforms here are massive, so it doesn't actually really... Matter to I mean, with a six coach train, you could probably stop around there, so not even where the sort of start of the canopy is. Well, maybe just about, but actually, mm, no, probably not that. Probably it'll be a four coach. But yeah, you can just guess where you come to a stop. No PIS at this station. Some stations don't have PIS, so they've got like, the little side ones. These ones here, which as we might see in future. Hartsdale next. Let's get going. Now I found out you don't actually need to do the horn when you leave. It's only mandatory when you're coming into the station. Although let's just get a little sort of flyby with a horn. Camera. It's not too far to heart still. Look at that. There we go, this one's like going towards where? South east, I say? Yeah, it's going to south east, this one. Hartsdale next. 
60 miles an hour and 65 now. But if you are playing this route, I highly recommend turning on the safety systems. It actually sounds weird, but it makes it easier um, to operate. It's just coming up round here, Hartsdale. Yeah, you're coming to the stations really quick. Probably more than 40, probably even you come in at about 45 miles an hour and still have a comfortable stop. The platforms are massive. Well, <laughs> only at some stations. Um, yeah, ones like Trimont and Melrose, you want to come in about 20, 25 at most. But some of the platforms are absolutely huge. This is Hartsdale. Horn as we come in. And here we are. It's a lovely line. Cool. And you've got the workers statue in the middle as well. As you can see down there in the middle. I'll probably go to the end of the platform here. Then all the sort of coaches will be near enough where the entrances are. But it's more just guesswork really about when you're in the platform. Just stop where you want to stop. Obviously if you don't have HUD on. Although we got max points for that so I'm guessing that is the end there. Cool. Next station to stop along is White Plains. You've got White Plains and then North White Plains. If the POS on the inside shows you the next station. Oh, hello. Whoa. <laughs> right, door shut. Bit of horn as well, because why not? Let's it go. And we're off. Next session stop is White Plains. It's not too far. And the speed comes down to, I think, 35. Coming into White Plains. Getting that up. Lovely. Go full throttle on that. What's everyone's favourite part of the route? I don't really know what I think. Well, I don't know. I, I reckon my favourite part probably is maybe sort of the section between. I don't know, it's a tough one. I quite like doing the crest shuttle, but then coming up to this sort of area is nice as well. So yeah, it's a tough one. I was probably more the suburbia, uh, suburb, suburbia, suburban area. Down to 45. Cool. And you got a warning there for the 35. Lovely. Another cool thing about this route is you can actually um, go right up to another train. Happened uh, the other day actually, we were coming into White Plains. And there was another train there, so we were down to 15 miles an hour, but we just went right up to it. You can almost like, reach out the window and touch it, it was, uh, yeah, it's weird, but it's cool. Right, so track speed's now 35. And this is White Plains Station, which apparently got rebuilt about a year ago. Or refurbished, redone. It's one of the more modern stations on the route. It does actually look quite cool. With the clock tower and all that. Yeah, 
Here we are. This is White Plains. Bring on the speed down. We'll go towards the end of the platform here. That's probably the best decision. Pull that back. Whack that on. See another train coming along. That is an M7. Which the majority of trains you will see on here will be the M7A. Uh, although you do see the M3 every now and again. Although it's slightly less. I think there's 56 services in the M6. So you should see it on a journey about twice. If you're lucky. Yeah, the majority will see is the M7. That was our stop end, is it not? Okay. Surprised it isn't. Where's that one going? Or did it, no, no, has it stopped? Where's that one going? I've never done a fast. So that might even be a deadhead one, maybe. It's like an ECS move. Where are you going? Have you got people on? I think it's empty. Yeah, I think that's empty, that one. There's quite a few deadhead moves from uh, North White Plains down into Grand Central. Which is just an empty coach in stock move. Let's use the buttons for this one. And then look through with doors. Right, next station stop is North White Plains. Track speed now 35. Better getting that up. 50 now. Lovely, there we go. I think it does go up to 60 again, I think. I think it goes up to 60 around here. Let's have a look. Is it going to go up? Oh no, down to 45. Okay, it doesn't go up to uh, 60. Oh yeah, it's just there, the station. Any trains in there? Eh, it doesn't look like it. I think we'll be straight in through the middle. Which you will have, I think, a red light here. So you, if you go up, well, you'll see once we get there. But you want to stop at whereabouts we stop, otherwise you'll get emergency brakes if you've got the safety systems on. Which obviously you don't want. Yeah, I think there would be a red at the end. No, it'll come down to 15 next. Oh, there's another train coming, there's an M7 there. M7A. I'm so used to saying M7 and M3, but no, it's the M3 and the M7A, but there's not a big difference really. Down to below 15. Here we are. But yeah, if you go right up to the signal, it won't like it. So you want to stop sort of where the two, well, where the left-hand platform ends. And if you're enjoying this route, take a look at Long Island Railroad. You might fancy that as well. That gives you the M7 when you first buy that. Um, although if you are getting Long Island, try and buy the M3 with it. Because on its own, just the M7, it can be a little bit sort of bland. Um, so yeah, get the M3 with it. Which is a big sell on at the moment, I think. So probably fairly cheap to pick both of them up together. But yeah. If you're getting Long Island, try and get the M3 with it. and you get a bit more variety.
Here we are. It says, yeah, if you go sort of further, it'll uh, put the emergency brakes on. Well, if you stop here, you're perfectly fine. So, I'd say just stop here. Well, that is going to be it, everyone, for today's Train Sim World 2 video. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it as we look at everyone getting off. Links can be found in the description to the Discord, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show this off. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hope we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.